Understanding Moon Over Something, A Deep Dive. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel, where we explore the fascinating world of English language and its myriad expressions. Today, we're going to unravel the meaning behind the phrase, moon over something. It's a phrase you might come across in books, movies, or even in everyday conversation. So, if you've ever wondered what it means to moon over something, you're in the right place. Let's dive in and explore this interesting expression together. The phrase moon over something is a bit poetic and not something you'd find in formal writing. To moon over something means to dreamily think about or pine for someone or something often to the point of being distracted or not paying attention to the present. It carries a sense of longing, daydreaming, or being so lost in thoughts about someone or something that the world around seems to fade away. Imagine someone who can't focus on their work because they're constantly thinking about their vacation to the beach last summer. They're mooning over those beach days. While the exact origins of moon over something are a bit murky, it's clear that the word moon in this context is used metaphorically. The moon, with its nightly appearance and the way it lights up the dark sky, has long been associated with emotions, dreams, and the act of longing or yearning. This phrase is most commonly used in informal contexts. You might hear it in casual conversation, read it in a novel, or see it described in a movie. For example, a character in a book might be described as mooning over their lost love, indicating that they are deeply engrossed in their memories and feelings for this person. To better understand how moon over something is used, let's look at a few examples. One, ever since she returned from Paris, she's been mooning over the city, wishing she could go back. 2. He spent the whole evening mooning over his high school photos, lost in the good old days. 3. She couldn't concentrate on her homework because she was too busy mooning over her new crush. These examples show how the phrase can be applied to various scenarios, always indicating a deep, often wistful focus on something or someone. While it's normal to daydream or reminisce, Constantly mooning over something can hinder your ability to live in the present. Here are a few tips to help you snap out of it. 1. Engage in activities that keep you grounded in the present, such as exercise, meditation, or a new hobby. 2. Set realistic goals for yourself to focus on the future rather than dwelling on the past or what cannot be. 3. Talk about your feelings with friends or family. Sometimes, simply sharing what's on your mind can help you move past it. I hope this video has shed some light on the meaning and usage of the phrase, moon over something. It's a beautiful expression that captures the human capacity for deep emotion and longing. Remember, it's okay to moon over things now and then, but it's also important to stay connected to the present and look forward to the future. Thank you for watching, and if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more interesting insights into the English language. See you in the next video.